Hi, I'm Natsumi with Fit が Fit. Today's video is Yoga for Runners. Let's begin! Okay, let's get on to your four and extend your left leg. Okay, and from here, shift your upper body slightly, very subtle, forward and backward to get good calf stretch. Slightly shift your hips to the backward. Heel close to the ground and forward, backward and forward to get a good stretch on your calves. Now, Point your toes, stretch out your left to your right. And gaze looking at the toes to get a good hip flexor, psoas stretch. And back. Now, extend your left, I'm sorry, extend your right, opposite side, and keep your toes flexed, and shift your hips backward and forward to get the calf stretch. Try to bring your heel close to the ground, and release. Get close to the ground, still keep your heels up, so. Very tiny, small motion. Just a little bit, your shift, shift your hips forward and backward. Now, point your toes and slide your right leg to your left and look at the tip of your toes. Now, we are getting good psoas stretch. Getting nice front body stretch. And now, bring back to center. Hmm? Let's take Sphinx pose on your forearm, belly down. Mm -hmm. And inhale, exhale, bend one leg. And try to grab with your hand. And try to keep your heel close, your hips. You're getting really nice stretch on the front of your thigh, quadriceps, and also around the sh shin area. Now release. Bend opposite knee and grab and press your heel to your hips to get a good stretch on the front of your leg.
Now release. Let's take downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shabhasana. And pedal your feet to get good calf massage and stretch. One heel down, the other heel up, vice versa. Good calf stretch. And it is. Now, let's take squat, squatting position. And shift your hips to the side. Even turning your knee open like this. Balancing on the outer edge of your foot to get good range of motion. Try to stretch, loosen up all joints. And release. Open and release. Okay, now both heel down wide open. Okay, garland pose. Elbow push your knees, palms heart center. Let's take few breath, few pranayama here. Keep your back straight, crown reaching to the sky, elbow pressing your knees out. Keep your hips down, sitting, sitting bone and tailbone pointing down to the ground. And root yourself, ground yourself. Keep your back straight, elongate your neck. Now, slightly widen your stance, still pointing your toes outward, and the elbow rest on your knees. Again, shift your hips to the side. Now, press your knee from Inside out and twist your upper body gaze toward the ceiling. Now switch, press your knee outward, twist your upper body and look toward the ceiling. Shoulder in. Center now, turn your toes in, hands on your hips, inhale, shoulder blades together, exhale forward. Slide your hands down, you can hold your hands around your knee, or if you want, slide your hands all the way down and pinky, grab your big toe. Stay there, the outer edge of your feet. Feet pressing down, inner edge arch lifting up. Lift up your knee calves. Tailbone pointing toward the sky. Keep your shoulders away from ears. Keep your neck long. Inhale halfway up, exhale hands back to the hips and all the way up. Now bend one knee 
and extend the other and keep your toes flex. You can press your hands either backward and as a hand inside of your leg or you can play around a little bit position of your hand. Try to sink your hips lower. Keep your knees open. And now let's shift. Bend opposite the knee, straighten the other. Keep your toes flexed. Placement of your hand. Find your best position. Okay, now let's lay down on your back. And one knee bring your bring close to your chest. And either opposite knee bent or maybe straighten. Let's keep it straight. Widen your shoulder blades and press them down on the mat. Keep your neck long. And slowly straight your knee and if you don't Straight your knee completely, don't worry about it. And hook right leg on top of your left knee. And grab your thighs or your knee. And widen your shoulder blades. Flat on the mat. Keep your back wide, big, flat on the mat. And if you notice any tension on your hips, use extra to release. The tension no longer serves you, try to let it go. Use your breath and let it go, release. Go deeper and deeper on the stretch. Now, bring your knee to your left and look to your right. Open your shoulders. Keep your right shoulder down on the mat. Chest open wide. Widen your collarbones. Relax your forehead. Relax your cheek, jaw. Focus on pranayama. Study your breath. Again, if you notice any tension, 
creeping up. Try to release by using your breath. Now, back to center release. Okay, now, opposite knee, bring close to your chest. And stay there. Gently, very gently, press your knee to your chest. And the other knee, straight, on the mat. And if you want, if you want to go stretch further, start straighten left knee. Keep opposite knee straight as well. And always your pranayama going. Breath is most important practice in yoga. Check your shoulder blades, shoulder blades wide and flat. Hook your left on top of your right knee and grab your thigh or knee. Keep breathing and breathing out. Now drop your knee to your right and look to your left. Keep your shoulder on the mat. Widen your collarbones. And release any tension from your legs and chest. Relax your facial expression and soften your gaze. Or even close your eyes. Slowly bring your knee back to center and make yourself tiny, tiny ball, forehead to the knees. And inhale, exhale, extend your arms, legs. Take final pose of Shabbasana. Inhale, exhale, let it go. This sequence is designed to be done after your run. I recommend you include it with your running routine. Also, check out my other videos in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to my channel and select the bell option to get notified of my future episodes. See you soon!